What's up, peeps? How's everyone doing today? Um, I'm just home, chilling. I wanted to come on here and make a video and talk about something that that I'm missing in my life and someone who means the world to me. So today is December 14th. And um, I'm going to apologize now if I if I get really upset during this video. Um, I really just wanted to come on here and make a video and celebrate my father's life. Because um, today is December 14th and it is 6.15 in California, so it is 9.15 in Pennsylvania and a year ago today um, my father passed away and um, I can't believe it's already been a year it's a little crazy um, it's crazy that um, it's 915 he passed away around 11 um, God. <laughs> anyway, today's been a really rough day. And I just want to come on here and express how much I miss my father. And that, um, mainly to say, for everybody out there, you know, if your parents are still alive and they're in your life, no matter what type of parents you have, you know, because we can't pick the parents we have. And you can't choose what you're dealt with. And on whatever level that is. Some of us had really great parents, some of us have really shitty parents, but they're still your parents at the end of the day. And you never, you never know how important somebody is until they're gone, you know? And it's the holidays, and it's Christmas. And, um, you know, I just think everyone needs to, I don't know, appreciate just the people they have and your parents and your loved ones. Um, my father was my father was the most amazing man I've ever known in my whole life. And um, he never said no to any of me and my brother and sisters if we wanted anything or if we needed anything. He was the most selfless person I've ever met my whole life. And I had so much more life to show him than for him to be a part of. You know, I just, I pray every day for him and I was not looking forward. I was not looking forward for today. But I wanted to come on here and keep it real because you know, we all eventually are going to go through this. Some of us have. And I'm just telling you, you need to appreciate your family, no matter who they are. You know, a lot of us get older and you hold on to stuff that happens when you're younger. And you keep putting it in front of you and saying, well, I don't like this person because this happened. Or I don't care about this person because they did this to me. You guys, the past is the past. Whatever happened back in the day has nothing to do with tomorrow unless you make it about tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's hard. It's a hard concept to understand. Even myself, it's like, you know, there's certain things, certain things in my life that went down. And I can't just, I can't put it in front of me because then it's going to stop other stuff and beautiful stuff from happening. And, um, you know, it's like... My father was 70 years old. Some people think 70's old, but I don't. And my father was so full of life, and you know, two hours from now, um, he passed away holding my hand, and I had a hard time leaving my father's side because he did such a good job of taking care of me and my family that I wanted to make sure that he was taken care of up until the last second. Um, 
Yeah. You know, my whole family's going through it today. And, uh, I just want to come on and make a video to tell people, like, you can have a good relationship with your loved ones or whoever, but you have to put things in the past, you know, if shit went down or whatever. But, um, I hope everybody has a really good Christmas. Um, Christmas is in December 14th. God, I can't even add. Pay attention in school, you'll be a senior twice like me. Um, today's the 14th, so six plus five, 11. Is in 11 days. And, um, you know, last year was hard enough not having my dad at Christmas. But for some reason, I feel like this year is gonna be harder. Because it, you know, it was so fresh last year, and um, I don't know. I hope my father is <laughs> I hope my father is proud of me and proud of the son I was to him. <laughs> I really pray that I feel like he is, and um, just. You guys value your family and your parents, no matter what. <laughs> because, <sighs> because one day they're not going to be there, and you want to—you don't want to have regrets. That's one thing I can say. Thank God, I don't have any regrets. I did everything I could to try to have a good, you know. I had—I had a great relationship with my father, so there was no trying. My father was a really, really unique guy. I mean, such a good friend, such a good father, such a good husband to my mother. You know, all of us are very lucky. He just, uh, if you met my dad, if any of you met my dad, it's like, he would have done anything for anybody, it didn't matter. If he didn't know you or didn't know you. My parents growing up got shit on by a lot of people just because they always helped people out so much. And so I, you know, I try to be an example they were such a, a good example of a good human being that I really try to be the same. Really try to live up, live up to the same no matter what, no matter who does what to me or what happens or I'm gonna do things because I wanna do them. Because I wanna do them. Not because I expect anything in return. I've never been that person and I'm not gonna start being that person. So, um, oh my God. My producers, come here, come here. My producers, um, and his girlfriend's dog. Look at this dog. Her name's Cora. This is her. <laughs> this is her intro to for YouTube. Look. Look at the camera. <gasps> Yo. Oh my God. Is she adorable? Anyway, she's sitting here trying to get up on the couch. Um, yeah. So I just want to come on here and keep it real about what I'm going through today. And um, I don't know. Hopefully this video. <sighs> Go to your food. Hopefully this video inspires somebody out there to to have a better relationship with their parents or their family, their brother and sister, or their friend, or their coworker. You know, I do. Because I'm telling you, it's tough when it's tough when the it's tough when the people you love so much are gone. And my father suffered so much during his life you know I hear people complain about this even myself I have to I have to like knit myself I have to like knit myself in the ass does that even knit myself in the butt when I like start complaining about stupid stuff because I think my father just wanted to wake up every day and be healthy and go outside and work on his truck like you want to do simple stuff that means so much to you when you can't do it yeah, so when I hear people bitch about this or this food doesn't taste good or this per this waiter didn't come back at the wrong time, oh my god, it gets under my skin so much and I think to myself, you can breathe, you can walk, you don't have any health problems, shit. This is, you know, it's, we have to be thankful and especially around this time of year. Anyway, I hope, I hope you guys all have a really great Christmas. I'm sorry if this video was depressing, but I really miss my dad. You know, I miss him.
and I'll never be able to have kids and get married and have him there and I know they say your father and your loved ones who pass away are always looking down on you and I do believe that hope they're not looking down on me all the time but um I know but you know it's not the same anyway I hope you guys have a really good Christmas and for all of you that still follow me and want to be part of my life, thank you. Because I really appreciate it. Especially with everything I've been through. <laughs> but, um, it gives a shit, right? It's the past. Excuse my language, but fuck it. It's the past. And this is my Christmas tree. <laughs> I always have to get a real damn Christmas tree. And uh, the thing's gonna die and I keep it up for two months. Like, that's my nephew. He made that for me when he was younger. It's noodles. <laughs> and anyway, I love you guys and thanks for watching. Cherish your family, cherish your friends, cherish the people in your life. Because life is short, you know, and it goes by fast. And I sound like a, I sound like a 50 year old man. <laughs> Or, anyway, I had a lot of stuff planned today and I couldn't do anything. Just couldn't. And the weather was really, it's sunny in California all the time, it's kind of nuts, but today I woke up and it was cloudy out and dark. Oh, another thing is, you know, it's like, my mom, right, my mom, my mom called me this morning, she goes, I had to talk to you, I had to talk to you, so I called her, I slept in, because I knew today was coming and I was like, Anyway, so my mom says my mom had a dream last night, right? She dreamt that my father came to her. And he just showed up at the house, and he was like, Jeanette, I just want to tell you, my mom's name is Jeanette. My father's name is Dan. Real name, Earl. But she said, you know, my father said, um, I just want to tell you I'm okay. I'm not pain. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. And my mom says, Dan. You died a year ago, today. Um, this is crazy. My dad, and of course my mom was crying when she was telling me the story, and my father was in his 30s. My mom says that in the Bible, it says um, that when you pass away, you know, Jesus was 33 when he was, you know, on the cross and, and he died. And they say that you're 33 years old, that you, I mean, I, I this, anyway, she said this, that it's in the Bible, and and my father was in his 30s, she said, she said he was in his 30s, and he looked great, and he was healthy, and he was hugging her and saying, I miss you, and I want to make sure you're okay, just know I'm okay, <laughs> which makes me very happy, <laughs> because I believe in stuff like that, I believe that your loved ones who passed, or friends, or whoever, they can come to you and, and talk to you. Alright, well, I love you guys, and thanks again for always tuning into my channel, if, if you still tune into it, and um, Merry Christmas, have the best Christmas, be happy, and like cherish your, your loved ones and the people that are in your life and that are important to you, um, and I cherish you guys, I appreciate all of you so much, so, what do we say? <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Anyway, alright. Well, I love you guys. And have a good holiday. Alright?